Hi everyone, meteorologist Carl Lamb with you and we're just updating a beautiful day all across Northeast Ohio. Beautiful, I mean, marvelous, spectacular, any which way you wanna describe it today, it's really nice. But the big plus today is that it's not as windy because it might've felt like you were going to blow away yesterday. Today, it's not the case. It just keeps areas downtown a little cooler today with that northerly wind, but everyone else, you're just pleasantly into the 60s and even near 70 degrees. And we do have some rain showers and possible thunderstorms as we go into the middle of the week as a big system is going to work its way through. So let's show you the winds. And this was a big story yesterday. Not so much today. Notice those gusts even tonight. Very, very low. I mean, these hardly even get noticed once you walk outside because those gusts are in the single digits. So really not a big concern. Even as we head into Tuesday, as we have partly sunny conditions returning, it's not going to be all that windy. Winds do pick up a little bit as we go into Tuesday afternoon. Gusts could be around 15 to 20, 25 miles per hour, but that's about it. Winds do pick up a little bit as we go into Wednesday. Now here's a look at your national design work hour by hour forecast. So what we show you as we go through the rest of the day again downtown cooler here, but all in all look at everybody warming up into the mid to upper 60s, even near 70 in Dover and New Philadelphia and Tuscaroras County. But all in all, I would say this gets an A plus for today because again, it's not too windy. The temperatures are just right and you can go without a jacket. Now, as we head into the evening, eight, nine o'clock, temperatures are cooling down and with a clear sky for tonight, it is going to allow temperatures to drop more. So when you start your day tomorrow, temperatures will be in the upper 30s to low 40s. So that is cool compared to where we were this morning, but all in all, I would say we certainly will take it. But Tuesday is really a carbon copy of today. A few more high thin clouds in the picture here, but not by much. And as we head into Tuesday afternoon, look at that pleasantly into the 70s. I do think that uh, Hopkins will still be in the mid 60s, but I, everybody else look at that from Summit to Stark counties down towards areas in Tuscarawas County. Again, very comfortable and Mansfield as well. You're going to warm up really nicely, so it is going to be a very comfortable stretch. But here comes the rain as we go into the evening. The clouds start to build and then the rain showers. The first ba uh, band will work its way through as we go through the morning hours and then more rain is behind it and that's going to help kind of keep things on the uh, kind of cooler side once that rain cool there settles in. Here's your big picture forecast. So this is the line that we're tracking. Now this is again the more macro view. It shows us the wider shot of what's going on. And so this rain will work its way in by about Wednesday morning. This really starts to take hold and you'll notice that by 9 o'clock Wednesday morning as we go to 3 p.m. on Wednesday and even into 8 p.m. It's still with us. So expect Wednesday to be wet windy and it's warm before temperatures fall, but this is all part of it, um, an enormous low pressure system that's just spinning over Wisconsin there. It's got to work its way through and once it does, we'll have some showers for uh, Thursday morning lingering around, not expecting a soaking rain for Thursday. Here comes our next batch of rain for Friday, so a quick one two punch here, but then once we clear this out, then the cooler conditions are on the way, but they're drier conditions as well. So here's your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. So temperatures getting up into the mid 60s as we go into Monday and Tuesday, very comfortable. And then uh, again, areas further south away from the lake, you're easily getting up into the low 70s on Tuesday. For Wednesday, a quick shot at 70 degrees before the rain cools us down. And then we're back into the low 60s and upper 50s for Thursday and Friday with again some rain showers early Thursday. And then by Friday, it's just that one wave of rain that has to work its way through. And then by Saturday and Sunday, we'll have cooler conditions, but at least we get some sunshine in return for being well, essentially robbed of some degrees in terms of the temperature.